The ocean is choking under the weight of garbage tossed mindlessly into the waters. Some of the trash will be ingested by marine life, while the rest will be vomited by the ocean, washing up on the shores, collected by well-meaning cleaning up crews. And then what next? Well, for sacks upon sacks of flip-flops, the rubber sandals popular among many Kenyans, the journey leads here to Ocean Soul, a marine conservation organization intent on saving souls while creating jobs. A worker reaches into the pile of flip-flops, carefully selecting the flip-flops he needs. Color is a major consideration when choosing materials. It all started in 2006 when it emerged that out of a global population of just over 7 billion people, over 3 billion people wore flip-flops. A flip-flop is a poor man's shoe. Everybody has a pair, they get broken and people discard them away. If they are left uncollected, they end up in the ocean and marine animals eat these and other plastics and uh, thus injure, endangering their lives. That's when Ocean Soul was created. From Nairobi, we collect them from landfills Nairobi waterways, dump sites and all over the place. At the cost we have uh, monthly beach cleanup efforts that helps uh, collect these flip-flops and then uh, bring them to our workshops. Once they arrive here, the flip-flops are scrubbed clean, disinfected and dried. They are now ready to use. Over 75 artists work to create multicolored animals from the blocks of rubber sandals, combined to create a unique blend of colors. A life-size giraffe takes shape here, while on the other end an artist carves a rhino out of the rubber block. Last year, over 500,000 flip-flops from across Kenya were recycled in this way. One of our uh, great, uh, greatest partners uh, are zoos aquariums, museums around the world. This year on World Environment Day, conservationists calling on everyone to beat plastic pollution and reduce the use of single-use plastic, which pollutes the oceans, Kenyans assembling in Kwale to mark the day. Land-based activities are compromising marine ecological diversity. Efforts to scale up this pollution are vital because our water bodies continue to become more, not less important to supporting all life. Kenya banned single-use plastics in 2017. Ocean Soul now also doing its bit to reduce pollution in the ocean. The little flip-flop animals they make here cost anything from 200 shillings to thousands of shillings, depending on the intricate work done. The profits support about 900 people. Unakuta naeza kusomesha watoto, nikipata zile pesa. Pia na ule mtu mwenye natulete hizo patipati, pia kwake inamfaidi. And though it isn't always easy, little by little, Ocean Soul is helping to take back the ocean one soul at a time. Well, Kisanya, what the big question?